Good morning. My wife and I recently went to a farmer's market, or what we call the farmer's markup, uh, here in the Boston area. We were on Plymouth Plantation in Plymouth, Massachusetts. And when we walked in, there was a, uh, a greeting table and a couple of women there that were giving you instructions on where to go and what was there. Well, on, right in front of them was a magazine that I had seen years ago called Edible Boston. And I remember this magazine for a unique reason in that I once wrote a letter to the editor and I said, please accept these comments in the spirit in which they're intended. But by the time I get done with your magazine, it is torn to shreds. What I'd said to her was, there's a, there would be an article that I'd want to read and I'd tear it out. There'd be an ad that I'd want to follow up on and that I'd tear it out. There'd be a recipe in there and I'd tear it out. And what was left was just shreds. And I said, please take this as a compliment. And she wrote me this lovely letter back and she said, you know what, I'm going to include this letter with your permission in our, our advertising pamphlet because it really is a unique compliment. What made this book, this magazine so interesting was the paper stock. There was something special about it. And it, it really gave a visceral experience to an otherwise standard magazine. And so my message to you today is to learn paper. If you don't know your paper stock, take the time because this can truly be a differentiator. Let me give you an example. I was working with a coaching client and we were doing some research on a very unique footwear company. And just something came to mind to me that, you know, there's, there's something about this this, this company that I would think if they had a similar kind of experience with their catalog where the paper was unusual, it would go right along with the brand they're trying to build. And that was the pitch that he went in with. No idea yet how it went. But, you know, we complain about the things that are out of our control. This is something fully within our control. If you know your papers, this can be a great differentiator where you can actually win the bid without being the lowest price. You came up with the best idea. Where do you go for this information? Well, certainly you want to go to the paper companies because they've got a wealth of it. Number two, places like Printing United and Project Peacock. Look for Project Peacock. It's coming all around North America, and I think it's going to Europe as well. Uh, it's a Deb Corns project, and this is where the paper companies and some creative uh, and, you know, manufacturers get together, and they have this little regional show, but it's a terrific way to learn about paper. So there's my quick message today. Uh, this has made me very hungry, so I'm going to go have a, uh, let's see, hopefully this is an organic apple that I probably spent $8 on. And I hope you have an enjoyable selling week.